particular show in Birmingham. So people in, in, in the UK will know this, but Birmingham is the most heavily Jamaican community, probably outside of Jamaica, maybe even more so than certain parts of Brooklyn. Like, it's little Jamaica. All of the black people in Birmingham are from Jamaica, almost. Like, and, it, and unlike London, Birmingham is much more segregated. So the north of Birmingham is um, all Jamaican and Pakistani, pretty much. You have some Indian uh, groups there, but it tends to be Jacob, Jamaican and Pakistani, and it's a big area. There's, like, four main hoods in the north of Birmingham, and it's created an environment that's very tough, but it's also created a certain very Jamaican energy. So doing the Nas and Damian Marley show in Birmingham was very... It was like doing the show in Jamaica. And, and unfortunately, the doors did get rushed. You know, dudes did rush the doors and come in. They just wanted to see the show. Dudes from the hood was there. It's the, the venue isn't that far from the hood. The doors got broke open. But there was no trouble, fortunately. But it was a very rowdy show, and it had a certain energy because of where it was. There were way more rasters there than there were at any of the other shows. People were openly just smoking weed in the venue. They didn't care. It felt like I was going to a show in Jamaica. That's the only